This uh, press briefing that is aimed at making a very passionate, passionate appeal to the organized labor. This is a heartfelt and deeply considered appeal to the labor unions to continue along the path of negotiations with the federal, state governments, and the organized private sector under the auspices of the tripartite committee that has been established by government to fashion out a new realistic minimum wage for the people of Nigeria. As government, we are desirous of a very peaceful outcome and we will do everything to make this happen. Yesterday, the leadership of the National Assembly met with the unions. Today, we have offered yet another invitation to the unions to meet with us and continue our discussions. We will continue to engage and continue to make ourselves available in the context of these negotiations on behalf of the Nigerian people. Let me make it clear that we are not opponents on this negotiating table. We are united by the fact that we want the best for the Federal Republic of Nigeria and all the over 200 million citizens of this country. We have a responsibility to strike a measured and realistic balance in this effort to arrive at a new minimum wage for Nigeria. Let us remind ourselves, however, of these very fundamental facts. The minimum wage is not only for the public sector workers. It will be binding on the private sector as well. This reality must be factored into all negotiations we enter into. As we have explained earlier, Labour's current proposal of 494,000 Naira is an increase of 1,547% on the existing wage and translates into an annual wage bill of 9.5 trillion naira for the federal government of Nigeria alone. This, of course, does not include the subnationals and the organized private sector. This is apart from its cost implication to other sectors as well, as I've mentioned earlier. The federal government, under the leadership of President Bola Ahmed Chinubu, has put in place several measures that we have outlined severally. The new ones being the National Consumer Credit Scheme and the Nigerian Education Loan Fund. These are additional significant demonstration of determination to bring relief to the people of Nigeria. We want the labor unions to understand that the relief that Nigerians are expecting and that they fully deserve will not only come in the form of increased wages. It will also come as efforts to reduce the cost of living and to ensure that more money stays in the pocket of Nigerians. President Bola Ahmed Chinubu is firmly committed in doing what is right, reasonable, and sustainable regarding these minimum wage negotiations. We therefore make this passionate appeal once again to the labor unions to reciprocate this gesture in the interest of this nation. Here with labor, we are waiting for them, we have extended invitation to them, and government will continue to engage with them in the interest of our nation. Ours is a democracy, and whatever solution we have must be along the fashion of democratic ideals. To show good faith, because we don't have any other country apart from this, uh, uh, Nigerian, uh, uh, apart, apart from Nigeria. And uh, in the interest of uh, peace, 
and progress of this country. I plead with the labor union that they should reconsider and come back to negotiating table because I believe that uh, we have duties. Both the labor union and organized the private sector and of course government side to come to conclusion because we can't allow our nation to get into crisis as we speak. Um, what has happened today has brought a lot of hardship in Nigerians and we can, uh, everybody is feeling it. Both the people that can't eat unless they get out of their house to find something to eat. People are hurting and if we are going to uh, help the people who are hungry, we shouldn't uh, uh, make it more hard for them. So I plead with labor unions, you people are my brothers and my sisters, please come back to the negotiating table and uh, make sure that we resolve this. Any questions? Any? Okay, please.